Oh, yes, okay. Oh. It seems to be going up. <laughs> okay, now it's 90%. Good, yes, yes. Okay, ooh. Hi. Exactly one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay, uh, so. Uh, Hi guys, this is Maria, Peace Strike, and along with the uh, refugee, uh, the pop-up refugee camp. So, what do you think? What's, that, what's um, been happening? No, uh, well, it's five hundred and fifty question time today, Wednesday. Um, so, we, we want to do these uh, sort of pop-up uh, refugee camps, kind of on a regular basis. They go on holiday on the 10th of uh, April. Well, so, um, I think for two, two weeks. Uh, Easter holidays, so they'll have Easter holiday, they'll have, um, I think they have Whitson and then they have uh, summer holiday in July. So, you know, we have a limited time to sort of get the message over now, before now when they break up for some reason. Uh, we're here today, solidarity with uh, what's happened to the Syrian people. Okay. Ultimately, it's those people that have suffered, the ordinary person that's now displaced within their own country, so 6.5 million people displaced, no home, um, and then two and a half million, so nine million in total in, um, around the country. Um, I was on a council estate, and it was still temporary for ten years, and um, because it was temporary, people didn't settle. You know, because they weren't going to be there long. We were going to move. So you have that sort of temporary mindset. But you don't want to get too fixed in the community because in your mind's eye, you want to go back. But in reality, that's not going to happen. In reality, I was on that housing estate 25 years. And it was temporary, built for 10 years. Now, and that was a, a home. These are uh, what they're living in, in these camps, are literally temporary structures. They're um, tents. They're not allowed to have uh, anything more than a tent. They're not allowed to have any sort of structure that looks like any sort of building mm -hmm. because they're guests. They, they can't cope. The Lebanon can't cope. Kuwait, Iraq. These are all war torn countries. They can't cope with this population. How are you going to feed all these people? There's no sanitation where they've gone. There's, they don't go into buildings that are erected and waiting for them to inhabit. So therefore, you're going to have major logistical problems. These people are victims of a, a proxy war, if you like, in the West. Mm -hmm. We never attack the country, so we're now politically saying to the world, well, it, it's not our problem, because actually we were nice. This time we didn't attack. Aren't we good? And, and people have... We didn't attack because uh, Cameron was defeated in Parliament, so actually because he wanted to attack it. Well, it was a very slim margin, by the way. Yeah. Plus very the fact, actually, slim. that uh, Rossoboro Export, the Russian company that's actually selling weapons to Syria, yeah. was still allowed to sell his uh, their weapons in um, yeah. the DSCI 2013, which is the biggest terrorist event of the year, really. Yeah. We've had... Um, we've been supplying weapons to Syria. Um, uh, and chemical weapons uh, came from the British company, some of the, uh, what made up the, um, the deep social chemical weapons. The point is that we're involved in what's done on, and we've supplied it, the, the country that had to get bring down, if you like. So we haven't attacked the country, but we've imploded it from within. Now you've got this major humanitarian problem, and these people, the ordinary citizens of the country, have probably no idea the real politics of what's going on um, and they're victims of it now and what are they going to do? And this is going to go on for years and years and years. And what's happening next? Because, you know, there's so many things happening in the Middle East. So we've got to be prepared and people have got to start to re-engage in uh, saying to the government, we, we, we're finished with war, we, we, we don't want any war, we've got to end the arms trade but just, you know, because the wars are changing, you know, they're becoming more um, technology, that's the downside in the army, but the technology on the other side is rising. Yeah, well, I'm just, because um, I was in, yeah, Occupy versus the Arms Fair back in September with the DSEI, and it was pointed out that um, each year we uh, provide, what, 888 million pounds worth of uh, subsidies to um, all these uh, <laughs> arms, uh, arms companies? BAE is yes. like what the third or fourth uh, biggest um, no, arms manufacturing in the world. 
It's just insane. It's mm. insane. What's happening to this country too is we are imploding. We're on a meltdown. Everything is being closed. People are losing their pensioners. People are being um, made redundant. So you haven't got the job. You go and sign on. You get benefits. And in the next minute, you're ridiculed. Well, why are you on benefits? You're sitting around the house doing nothing all day. There are no jobs. No, but, no, but no, it's actually been pointed out that we have a lot of work. We have, um, we could have uh, 700,000 jobs available in the, in the next year just by insulating all the homes. So there's been about 10,000 people have actually been killed uh, during the winter time because of actually that uh, their homes are actually inadequately um, uh, because of fuel poverty. Um, today, the, the Ford workers were actually on strike because of their pension, Christian, and they're forcing Ford to actually pay up. The Gurkhas were actually having a, uh, a strike because of their pensions as well. It's like it's everything, especially it's, it's, uh, it's getting crazy now. It's actually. Yeah, I mean at the moment I think everybody sort of um, confused. They're, uh, they're they're working. They're trying. They're forcing each, each of us to actually um, blame each other. It's actually oh. Yeah, that's perfect because that's how we miss the we miss the point. We miss the next sort of what's coming up. You know, it's like looking ahead and not seeing what's coming up behind us. Okay. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> we'll do. Anyway, guys. Okay, back in a minute. Whoa, nearly. Nearly. Ah. Anyway, so I uh, just point out that we're not allowed to actually have tents in uh, Parliament Square because it's illegal. They hate it. Hello. Uh, and now the uh, uh, the next uh, next demonstration is actually because of uh, Guantanamo Bay. Remember, we have we still have one uh, British resident in uh, Guantanamo. Actually, uh, so I shall be back shortly.